We've been talking to Jody Owens from the Rutel Diabetes Learning Center, and we've been going through the menus during the break, and we, there are some wonderful recipes in here. And you were saying that this is put out by the Diabetes Association, yes, ma American Diabetes Association, and they, they could stop by the Rappel Diabetes Learning Center mm -hmm. and pick these up. Sure. There's no charge on those. But I know that you have to have a physician's referral. Yes, we were talking about that earlier with our classes. Um, because we are teaching and we are, um, I, I'm helping with medications mm -hmm. and, and Miss Jan is helping with a meal plan, not a diet, but a meal plan. Mm -hmm. Um, we do work and collaborate with our, our physicians and our nurse practitioners because it's a team effort and, sure. and it's, it takes a village to raise a child and, and it does, it takes a whole team of folks to make sure that each person with diabetes gets, what's, gets what they need, um, not only from, from the diet standpoint or the mm -hmm. foods, but also you know, when, when they're doing their testing and, and helping them understand why we're asking them to test their blood sugar and why we're asking them if they have to take insulin or, mm -hmm. or injections. Um, those things can be, and we were talking about that earlier before the break, those things can be very overwhelming. And so it, it provides some support and, and the classes do also encompass um, some medical management or, or some help from, mm -hmm. from us. So we, we wanna include and, and we, we wanna make sure that the physician is staying you know right in the same loop that we are as we're providing this education it's 10 hours of education so wow. this goes on um, typically most folks come for a couple of hours each week for about five weeks and that gives us a good chance to you know check on their progress and mm -hmm. how's it been going since last week and, and yeah, what are your stumbling blocks right, what can we do to help what's yeah. going through yeah. um, your you know how, how are things going when you go to the grocery store how are things mm -hmm. going when you set up your prescriptions and, and you're trying to get through, you know, with, with new insurances and things. Mm -hmm. We see some challenges there as well. So we try to help with all aspects, you know, making sure that they get a meter that is going to be um, covered under their insurance and, and making those connections what happen for them. Service. So we try to, you know, like I said, it, it is um, required that we, we do ask the physician's permission that the patient come to the classes. Um, and, and that's very easy. You can either call your physician's office and ask them for a referral, mm -hmm. or we can send it over for the patient actually and request that physician's offices don't mind that we do that. Um, just letting them know, hey, you know, Donna stopped by and she'd like to take classes. And, yeah. and that is the e that's the easiest thing. Either way, we want to do it. Um, and a lot of folks, I think, they come by, they pick up some literature, um, and, and then, you know, they may go home and investigate a little more and then they decide they want to take some classes and that's fine too. Sure. We are, we're there and we're not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, we like to extend that out and, and the services out. And I'm hopefully going to work on, um, we've got a couple of good strong support groups going and, and I'm working on some more for family members mm -hmm. of our folks. It I is was a just challenge ask and caregivers yes. because a lot of times, let's say the husband is diagnosed with diabetes, mm -hmm. but the woman, uh, you know, the woman, the wife is the person that prepares prepares the meals, so mm -hmm. she needs the education. She is to and, understand. And she's invited to come also, and and we welcome you know husband and wife. I've had mother daughters. I've had father sons. All kinds of combinations of folks that are are living or supporting each other, mm -hmm. um, whether they both have diabetes or just the one patient has diabetes. And, and it makes it real interesting because you get to see a lot of the family dynamics and who does what, who does mm -hmm. the shopping, mm -hmm. who does the cooking, and, and what's gonna make this easier for your, you know, your cook or your shopper sure. or whatever. Sure. Um, and, and we're working on providing some support for those caregivers as well. And obviously, they're more than welcome to, when we do have our support groups, in our meetings to come to those support groups. Um, but we actually, when we call the patients to set them up for their classes, we advise them to bring someone. Please bring your support person, whether that be your spouse or your neighbor or, or whomever um, is there, gonna be there for you. Right. And, and a lot of folks do, and, and that's why we, we're, we're glad to have those extra folks in there. Um, I, I think it's just, it, it never, amazes me more to see when, when someone's being a caregiver to a family member and how much they want to help and how mm -hmm. much they want to provide that, okay, you know, I know for dad I've got to, you know, bring in more healthy items into the house so dad doesn't feel tempted to snack on those mm -hmm. 
um, you know, cookie bars or whatever. Yeah. And, and that is, that especially for folks that, like we were talking earlier, rely on other people to do their shopping and their cooking, mm -hmm. it's important to incorporate them into that team. And I know one of the things that Miss Jan does is absolutely make sure you understand how to read a label. Yes. She's yes. awesome at that. Yes. Yeah, I've gotten so, it ticks me forever to shop, but <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little faster, but sure. yeah. And I always encourage folks to um, break it up, look at certain items, you know, breads one time and then move on to another item the next time so it doesn't get overwhelming. Mm -hmm. The first time I went and really looked at my labels, it was hours. Like yeah, you said, yeah. it took me forever. <laughs> and and it is. Um, and I still read labels. And you know, <laughs> I've been doing this for four years now and, and teaching diabetes every day, living and breathing next to Jan mm -hmm. in the office and, and hearing about nutrition. And I still pick up things at the grocery store and compare. Okay, what's, you know, I'm looking at price. I'm looking at carbohydrates, I'm looking at fats, and I'm sure. looking at all those items because, you know, again, it, it is so important, even if you don't have diabetes, to have that healthy balance, to have mm -hmm. that healthy mix of foods. And that's something that I think a lot of folks take for granted. I always thought that I was eating healthy. Mm -hmm. And come to find out there were some areas that I actually wasn't getting enough of a certain item of food. You know, I was lacking on my proteins or I was lacking on this. So. It, it really is, is kind of fun when you start telling people, oh, no, 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 you, you're not getting enough to eat. Here, here's what else you can have, <laughs> especially when they think, oh, gosh, they're going to they're gonna yeah. put me on, you know, yeah. bread and water for the next <laughs> month. So yeah. it is. It's yeah. really a fun thing, and, and I call them light bulb moments when I see as I'm teaching the class or I'm standing up there talking to people and things start clicking and the mm -hmm. ahas start happening. Um, this is why this is, this is important or, or, you know, I'm eating these certain types of foods because it helps with my digestion and and so those are the big um, the the smiles that come to my face and and the things that I go mm -hmm. back and think okay we're we're really we're helping these folks yeah. out every day okay. so and I know very that's important. why you're there yes yeah, absolutely that's, that's your passion and your love it is and and I do love it and and I do want to mention um, real quickly about our support groups that we've got coming up a um, lot of fun stuff going on this summer like I said a lot of classes and things but our main support group that we always have is the fourth Tuesday of each month. Okay. This month is June 24th, and we're going to have Dr. Um, Tilly. He's an anesthesiologist and certified in uh, pain management. Um, and a lot of times with diabetes comes some issues and some problems, and neuropathy is one of those things, and that's the, the pain in the feet and the legs. So Dr. Tilly's going to come over and talk with us about diabetic neuropathy and management recognizing the signs and symptoms mm -hmm. and treatment of that. And I think that's going to be a biggie because a lot of folks have questions. And, you know, I said, hey, there's only so much this nurse can do and, and explain. Mm -hmm. I really want to get the expert in there. Yeah. So, And he's an awesome speaker. We're really excited, yeah, Dr. really Dr. excited about Dr. Having Ronald him. Tilly. He's a wonderful human being that uh, he's another very impassioned person. Good. So, yes. Good. We're much. excited. So, yeah. And I know the group, our regular group that, that usually comes, they have requested we have a, a topic about neuropathy. Um, and so we hope that some of you and new folks, if you haven't been out before, over in the Lagerborg dining room at the hospital at BRMC, 5 p.m. on um, June the 24th. 24th. Yes, ma'am. Okay, 5 p.m. That's great because that's going to anyone that's working. Mm -hmm. um, you sure. Know, slip Stop away by. just a little bit early if you can and, and come on and in. And that is a free meeting, open to the public, no reservations, no referrals okay. needed. Okay. Um, and, and we just encourage anybody and everybody that wants to and can to come find out more about that. We'll make sure that's out there on the airways yes. and in the paper and on our Facebook page before prior to the date. So because that's really, um, you know, seating capacity, pretty good crowd you can get in there. Oh, absolutely. In the logger board, so, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I think too, as far as the, you know, just any of the services that we have there, I just encourage anybody, if you need something, if you have an issue, mm -hmm. please call us or come by let us know how we can help. We are and more than happy. How can they reach you? I am uh, phone number wise 508-1765 there at the Rappel House and we're located right across the street from the emergency room entrance at the hospital in the row of community support houses. Wonderful. Jody, thank you so much. Thanks, As always. Donna. Couple before we, we go, you missed we missed one. We've got a scrubber. 
That is and a peeler. vegetable peeler and scrubber, <laughs> and we even have some exercise DVDs for anybody oh my. that oh my. is getting started back on being active again. Great, so, great. Lots of good resources. Yeah, that's where all the balance is, not just mm -hmm. the eating, it's the balance of moving the body. Moving the body. Yes. You bet. It's all tied in together. So come back and see us real soon, will I you? I will. Thank you. All right. Thanks for joining us today, and thank you for joining us today for BRMC's Healthy Connections. Music